Hello, this is your review of the protection project for the EEE 470 class for the fall 2018. So we'll start with the project description document that details the problem and report, lays out the schematics and the tasks of the system, the schematics and the tasks that you will be performing throughout the project, the course of the project. So there's six pages worth of information that detail the outline for this project. So essentially, the project is working on a small academic test system representing a transmission network with a radio 69 kV system included for overcurrent protection. You are provided with a number of generators on the system. So generators one and two connecting through step-up transformers to a 345 kV, a pair of 345 kV lines that transmit over a long distance down to a 230 kV ring around the metro area. The transformers have various connection types, including delta grounded Y, grounded Y, grounded Y, and your synthetic distribution system, the 69 kV system, will have its own representative model with a delta Y transformer uh, supplying the radio system. So the essential parts of the project are to build the above system in Power World, so you'll build your simulation model. You will perform a re relay setting and breaker coordination for overcurrent relays on a radial 69 kV system, which is essentially the first few sections of chapter 10 in the text. You will coordinate the, you do the necessary short circuit studies decide on ratings for the breakers and CT ratios to accommodate load and effectively pick up for short circuit values that, you, that are observed on the system. You'll have to determine tap and time, time dial settings for the particular relays utilized and document that in the report. For the transmission portion of the network, you're provided with the per unit impedances, sorry about that, you're provided with the per unit impedances for the transmission network, the various voltages, and the parameters for all of your generating devices. So the diagram lists positive sequence impedances on the top of the line, zero sequence impedances on the bottom of the line, and voltage ratings that you're expected to model in Power World. The radio section, which will, which will be modeled connected to bus number five, will include four distribution or four 69 kV buses, each protected by an upstream circuit breaker with associated relays and protective elements. You'll have to utilize concepts learned throughout the class regarding the modeling of phase impedances, positive sequence impedances for a particular line topology, conductor size, and lines and spacing, et cetera. You'll perform distance relay protection for the loop 230 kV system. So for a loop system, you'll have fault currents that can, fault currents that will flow from both ends of the line or can contributions from both ends of the line. So the distance protection will be designed such that you provide primary or zone one protection to the line of interest, extended reach or zone two protection to the line of interest and backing up the zone one for the next breaker forward of the, of the primary breaker being protected and zone three protection which is essentially backing up 
the protective device looking at the entire line adjacent to the one for the breaker that we're protecting. So here we're going to be designing a protection system, a distance protection scheme to protect the 230 kV line between buses 5 and 9 and provide remote backup protection from buses 5 to 6. This material will be covered in the later sections of Chapter 10. You'll have to select the circuit breaker, select the instrumentation transformer, instrument transformer, and decide on how those connections are made. You will select the relays and set them appropriately to accomplish the zones or to protect the particular zones of interest for that distance relay scheme. You will set a differential relay on one of the generator step-up transformers, selecting the CTs, modeling or managing the connections, and calculating settings parameters for the differential relays to ensure that they're as secure as possible and don't trip for, don't inadvertently trip for faults that are not inside the defined zone of protection. You're provided with all the generator data. So there are generator MVA ratings, voltages, positive and negative sequence impedances, and your zero sequence impedances. The connection types for each of the generators or transformers are provided as well. So you'll have to do your base conversions from the device bases onto a common system base and document all your studies in the report. So for the grad students only, you'll also have to identify various generator protection schemes that are employed, which is not covered in great detail in this class, but good for you to understand how generator protection, elements of generator protection that would have to be considered for connecting into a network such as this. Walking through the protection design project student template, we identify the various sections that you'll have to complete. Again, a summary of the problem statement, the diagrams that you'll need to include, and the expectations around each of the various tasks. So here you can see we start, tasks are ex explicitly defined. Tasks 0 to 3 deal with the distribution section or the 69 kV section of the report. Through tasks 9 and 8, 9, and 10 cover the differential relaying portion of the project. So the tasks in the middle four to seven, I'll cover the distance relaying or distance protection of the 230 kV line. I'll follow up with you throughout the next few weeks to help you as you get started. The first step would be to model the network as shown, ensure that your transformer connections and your generator connections are represented appropriately calculate your impedances for your 69 kV line sections and ensure that you fill out this table. The values that you get should be virtually identical to the values provided in table 3A since nothing in terms of topology or impedances will change for the main portion of the network. However, for the 69 kV portion represented in this row, you should get slightly varying, slightly varying fault magnitudes based on your individual selection of transformer impedances. Now, if you were to calculate your values with a, a sample data point or sample transformer impedance of 0.12, then you should get the exact values that are listed here. Uh, the second decimal point on this XT, as determined in the other report, will be a combination of you and your group partner's 
ASU ID numbers. Uh, the other, the report, the project assignment document details to you how you calculate that, um, that particular variable for modeling that transformer. All right, thank you.